So over the course of about two hours last night, my wife and I had a religious discussion. Um, she was posing questions to me, which some of them I could answer, um, which, which just posed more questions for her. Um, and then some of them I, I just failed miserably at. I, I don't know the Bible. I don't know as much about religious history as I would like. Um, and then I would pose questions to her and we would have a really fun dialogue and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Something we didn't get into, but that I've been thinking about a lot today, is one of my favorite shows in the entire world, my, my ex-wife would call it Nerd TV, is How the Universe Works. And the last episode of that show that I watched, I can't remember what season it's in, I'm like, I'm binge watching it. But the last episode I watched was about how the universe will eventually end. And apparently there are three ways that the universe can eventually end. One is called the Big Crunch, right? The universe keeps collapsing, collapsing, collapsing in on itself until it goes down to nothingness and in theory, um, you get another Big Bang, right? The other theory is called, um, let's see, what did I say? The Big Crunch and then it's uh, the Big Freeze. So it's where the universe just continues expanding, 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 expanding until everything is so far apart from each other and atoms become, you know, few and far between. And so everything just kind of blinks out, if you will. Um, and then the other one is that the equilibrium, the, the gravitational pull somehow remains constant and everything just kind of stays generally where it is. Um, and the overriding theory right now is that we're heading toward a big freeze, okay? So the universe is expanding and it's just gonna continue expanding into, until it blinks out into oblivion. And so I think about that and, and it's like, okay, well, when it blinks out to oblivion, what is there? Is there just blackness with, with nothing? No stars, no planets, no light? Is it just a vacuum? And then if it is just a vacuum, a vacuum is something. So what put that something there? Something had to be there in order for all of this to even start. Something had to start the process. So where did something come from? You can't tell me that everything came from nothing. Nothing started everything? Long story short, this is breaking my brain today, just thinking about this and kind of mulling over it and there has to be, you can't tell me that there's not a creative designer. You can't tell me that there's not a God who didn't start all of this. Because where the hell did it come from? Nothing, by definition, cannot create something. You can't get something from nothing. So something transcendent of space, time, and matter had to start all of this. And in the beginning, if you read the book of Genesis, it, 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 it clearly describes right there in the beginning the creation of space, time, and matter. Uh, comment below if you have some thoughts or questions. Uh, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a theologian or anything like that, so I can't answer anything, but hell, let's open a dialogue. This is fun.